chief guest has just left. Uh, today's moderator, fellow panelists, dear delegates, a very good morning to all of you. I must ch thank the organizers uh, for giving me an opportunity to address in this session because I had to go back to Bombay just after the presentation. All of you must be knowing that EQ is probably one of the most authentic magazines for the solar energy and renewable energy. And I would say that the quality of the magazine is improving day by day. And I'm, I wish them well, and they should be probably at the top of the world in the next ca coming years. Well, all of you have been listening about uh, various aspects of solar. It could be EPC, it could be manufacturing, it could be large power generation plants. I will be talking on a subject that touches everybody's hearts, but it's very difficult to get cash for it. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about something that really touches everybody's heart. We are going to see how we can help the bottom of the pyramid. People who are at the bottom of the pyramid and how renewable energy and other things that can help them to improve their livelihood. Um, what we have, well, our Prime Minister has a goal that we should increase that farm output by 100, the in, double the farm income in the next five years. But I think five years is a very long time. We don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. We are under a plan where we should in, double the farm, in, not the farm household income in, two, in just one year. When I say the farm household income, we feel that there's a farmer who is going to have an income, the wife is going to have an income, the adult children are going to have income. All the three put together should double in a span of one year. That's, that's the only way we can really improve the livelihood of the farming community. <laughs> but this presentation I'm giving it to you on behalf of uh, Lions Club International. Uh, my company is Eastern Power, but this is where Lions Club International is going to help us. How we are, we are planning to adopt 100 villages in Palgar district and improve the income of all these 100, not villages, 100 padas, about 13 villages. About, uh, and we want to double their income in the span of one year. I'll, I'll just go through the presentation. Well, this is an introduction about uh, myself, the district governor, and the Lions Club International. Uh, Uh, this is a statement of this year the international president is one Mr. Nagesh Agarwal. Lions is a family, uh, we are there in 210 countries across the world and in India we are about 1.4 lakh members. <laughs> giving, back, be, giving back out of gratitude is part of the culture of Lions. We serve because we are thankful. We recognize our advantage and deeply desire to give others what they lack. Do what you can, as Mother Teresa said. Not all of us can do great things, but we all, but we can do small things with great love. This is his saying. And he's the international president today, and he'll be there for one year. We are probably one of the largest NGO, as recognized by the UN. We have completed 100 years of service to humanity. Uh, we have about 47,000 clubs. In India, we have about 6,400 clubs. And in, in my district in Bombay, we have 100 and 116 clubs. And this is only one of the three districts in Bombay. I'll skip a few slides because uh, to see the, uh, we complete the pr my presentation on time. <coughs> Look, as I mentioned in my address, doubling the farmer's household income is what we plan to do. We are embarked on a unique project of creating 100 padas as Adarsh gowns, and in the process, making them smart villages. Find ways to augment earnings of the 100 padas so that the household income levels double in the shortest span. How do we plan to do this? We get, of course, funding is going to be the major issue. 
CSR funding, government schemes, or internal resources and large donors. The initiative is aligned to sustainable development goals for human capital, for social capital, and natural capital. Uh, we have done our homework. We have identified the 100 padas, and all of them will be in a not more distance of about 120 kilometers from Mumbai, so that we can reach out to them. And it is going to benefit about 20,000 people. What we find is, in the farming community, what the common ex uh, existing common factors Farmers need to provide with proper irrigation facility after the rice is harvested so that they can grow a second crop of vegetables. This will give them an additional income. The holdings are pretty small of the farmers. Lack of irrigation facility. These are the hindering factors. Some of the aims of Niti Aayog we are trying to conceptualize in the project that we are doing. How do we plan to transform the villages? One is improve productivity through farm mechanization, saving costs by better protection, by, by better production and by better utilization of water resources, increasing the number of crops direct access to the market through Wi-Fi. What happens is uh, the farmer always sells his crop under a distress. Whatever little surplus that he has, he sells it at prices that are that are very low and that is, doesn't even probably cover the cost of his inputs. That should first be avoided. So this is how we want to double the income. The farm output increase, the woman earns a spare has a separate source of income, the added children have a separate source of income. All three put together, their income doubles in the shortest span of time. We have identified the villages where we want to do this job. The, the identified hamlets are in this in these in the two talukas, in Palgar and and uh, Vikramgarh. These are the villages and the padas with their population. Most of them are Adivas Adivasis, and it's in about 13 villages, so all the work is ex expected to be done. The average income today is, I'm mentioning 5,000, but probably the figure is much lower than that. And villages probably do not have any cash in hand. Even for them, a 10 rupee or 20 rupee is a big amount. We'll be surprised to know that when we go deep into the villages, we find even today barter system is prevalent. Where what rice or paddy that they have, they give it to the shop owner and take in exchange, they take dal or they take their daily commodities, what they want. That's the only source of money that they have. They have hardly any cash in their hand. What we propose to do, that is farm mechanization, alternate sources of income, reduce input costs, engaging consultants, making the PADAS Wi-Fi enabled, operationalized PADAS specific projects that are, that are held up. Many, pro many villages in PADAS, we find that government has invested three to five lakhs to 10 lakhs, but for the want of one or two lakhs, the project is lying idle. So we would like to specifically operationalize those projects first. Solar pump for irrigation. This is, uh, this is a must. This is where today even if they have pumps, diesel pumps, they do not have money for buying the diesel. If they buy the diesel, the cost of buying the diesel probably is not compensated by the output that they get from the farm. So we would like to energize the farms by solar water, solar irrigation. Also, it will be on a shared basis. That is, the water that is generated will be used for various farms. So 
we'll, we'll also give solar power for cold storage, farm mechanization. These are the various uh, options for farm mechanization. Alternate sources of income for the farmer. Save time and energy. Making the villages uh, Wi-Fi enabled. Reduce input costs. Engaging consultants. Women empowerment and skills development. Marketing the produce directly. Well, the it's a quite a long presentation. I would not want to go through the whole thing. I would uh, primarily sum up by saying that what is our intention is we must double the income of the farmers in a span of one year. I mean, I would not say the farmers, it is the household income is to be doubled in one year. I would like to emphasize on that. And one or two more things generally I would like to add here is uh, probably Gujarat was the first state that came up with a large solar plan. And they had the vision that the prices are, would drop dr drastically. So they had a PPA starting with 12. At the end of 12 years, it will be 5. But probably the prices dropped faster than that. And uh, probably Gujarat has the largest canal network in the whole country. About 88,000 kilometers of canal is there in, in the Gujarat state, Gujarat and bordering Rajasthan. That could be a source of uh, generation of power. My company, Eastern Powers, we had signed an MOU with, uh, at Vibhan Gujarat for a 1,000 megawatt canal top project. This was way back in 2015. The GDA representative is here. I would request him. And this was to be jointly developed by Total and Sun Power and our company. But we could never get a PPA. In spite of various reminders, various uh, requests to them, we could not get an opportunity to how to sell the power. I request the JIRA representative to please help us in finding an option. We can tell them what options are there to sell the power. I thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and thank you for putting me in the first session.